Hello and welcome to the 20s show. A podcast dedicated to the 20 somethings where we not only talk about our financial, physical and mental well-being but also question the bullshit rules of the society so we can find our own truth and lead healthier, richer and meaningful lives. I'm Vidhan Jain and through this episode I'll take the opportunity to make you question your beliefs about your life, your goals and your finite time on earth. I'm going to share with you something that changed the way I saw my life. Something that I've never shared before. Some of you have lived this reality but may not have experienced it the same way. This starts with the story of Sumit, a dear friend of mine who taught me to begin with the end in mind. When I first met Sumit, he came out as a really arrogant person to me. We were in good friends until years later when we met at a party. The usual small talk happened, but I could sense a change in this energy he was radiating. He surprisingly felt such a sensitive and warm person to me. We immediately connected and had a good long conversation till 2 at night, even as the party ended. He shared some of his deepest regrets, problems he has created, and a story about how he had gotten into drugs and how he has almost gotten out of it. He went on to tell me how although he has made mistakes and let himself and his parents down he is now working hard to turn the tables. He wanted to make the only person that believes in him proud. It was his mother. I went to drop him and as he was about to get out of the car he said, "Vidhan, thank you for listening bro. I've never felt so comfortable with anyone before and so I never got to display this vulnerable version of me." That truly was one of the most heartwarming and real conversations I've had in my life. Within just a few hours, I grew great admiration and respect for Sumit. Fast forward to 8 months later, he had cracked a competitive exam with a good score. With this, he certainly changed the future course of his life. Next up was a great college and a better life with an improvised version of Sumit. It was so inspiring to see him become Sumit version 2.0. I had been working in Delhi so I didn't get to visit my hometown often. It was during Diwali when I came to Bhopal, my hometown, and dropped him a message so we could meet up. We couldn't meet for a few days so he dropped a message that he is not going to miss the chance to meet me the next day. The next morning, I was asleep while my phone was vibrating with messages that I didn't bother to check. I then received a call from a friend who with a really low voice informed that Sumit met with an accident last night and his cremation is scheduled at 11 in the morning and that's in 2 hours you may be able to imagine the feelings of grief and dismay that ran through me i was distressed seeing sumit lay down on words along with the story that he couldn't tell the world as he was burning so were his dreams I could hear him talking about how he was completely going to change the game to become somebody no one imagined but what instead happened was something he didn't imagine either his unlived dreams still flash in my life for which he had been making conscious efforts but for good or for bad a new day is promised to none of us I was deeply taken aback thinking how short our lifespan is but what unbelievable things can we still achieve even in this short span if only we act in accordance with the truth that each one of us has an end and that time is finite I realized that this world has so much to offer and I have so much to explore in this limited time since then I stopped putting things that I wanted to do to a later date and took action immediately I haven't been able to keep my curious ass idle. I used to be afraid to take action, but I had grown more afraid to not take action since then. I wanted to share this with you all because this incident was as meaningful as it was sad. It removed the fog over my eyes and I hope this clears the fog for you too. We are often ignorant about death because all the fundamental human rights that we have today be it our right to education our right to work our right to safety and even our right to move to a different city to live are based on two pillars the first is our right to be happy and the second is our right to live our right to live directly makes death criminal since it takes away our life 
This conditioning is the reason the demise of someone feels like it is something wrong, something that just shouldn't have happened. We are conditioned to see death with a slight ignorance, as if we are immune from it. We feel like we have forever with us. Most people, by the time they turn forty to fifty years old, realize that they had been too involved in pursuits that didn't satisfy them. We so often see these people. They could even be your parents or relatives. Most of us in our twenties too are going after this relentless pursuit of conventional success and materialism, without a clear lens of perspective. But because we know the history of many men who didn't die happy. we get a chance to study them and change our future by avoiding the mistakes that they did when it's all said and done and you've grown 70 80 years old and one day you visit the doctor only to know that you have a terminal illness and you are here now for a short time how would you feel and at that time what do you think will feel important to you raise your hands wherever you are if you will care about money and power i'm sure absolutely zero hands were raised so what instead will you rather think about what will suddenly matter is how meaningful has your life been so far it'll be about the relations about the value we have added in our span of over 60 years the love and light that we have put out in this world and i can tell you neither money nor power will give you the feeling that you are looking for no matter how much you have it that one thing that will make us feel at ease and not running out of time will be the smile that we put on thinking about the wonderful life we have lived and that our place has made this world better than it would have been without us most people have two lives one that they have lived and the other unlived still inside their head unfortunately most people don't get to live the other life that they had in mind I want you to do something for yourself right now. Put your hands to your heart. Please do that. Tell yourself the truth that like every other human you to have an end and a new day is not promised to you. Embrace and respect this truth. Tell yourself that everything you've wanted to do in life but waited now is the right time to start. Pick that book you've wanted to read and start with just 10 pages. Start researching on that business idea you've been putting aside. Go out for a run. Start killing that fat. Meditate. Start with just five minutes. Whatever you have dreamt of becoming in life, become, because now is all you've got. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast till the end. If you'd like to listen to more episodes of the Twenty Show, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified. And if you think I've been able to add some value, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family, because that will absolutely mean the world to me. I'll catch you in the next episode of the Twenty Show. Till then, stay safe and keep thriving. Twenty Show.